It's the largest facility for unaccompanied migrant children in the country, and it's right here in South Florida. This morning, lawmakers toured that facility. CBS 4's Carly Barnett is live in Homestead with more. Carly. Lauren Maribel, yes, this is the facility for unaccompanied migrant children in Homestead. I actually had a chance to tour this my facility myself last week, and some local lawmakers are doing the same thing today. They left a little over an hour ago at this point. They are still on the tour. Now, they say they are concerned with how the Trump administration has handled migrant children, and they want to see this facility for themselves. Florida and Texas lawmakers are touring the Homestead Temporary Shelter for Unaccompanied Migrant Children. Florida Representatives Debbie Mercosel Powell, Donna Shalala, and Texas Representatives Sylvia Garcia and Joaquin Castro, all Democratic, are seeing this facility for the first time. Not only to see how the children are being housed and how they are treating them, but also to get an understanding as to why they're being kept for over 60 days. What is the plan for them to reunify these children with their families? The Homestead Shelter is the largest facility for unaccompanied children in the country. According to Health and Human Services, it currently houses 1,600 children between the ages of 13 and 17, with plans to expand to more than 2,300 beds. I've had an opportunity now to visit facilities, Border Patrol facilities, ICE facilities, HHS facilities in Texas, New Mexico, Florida in just a few minutes. And what we've seen so far has been extremely troubling. This is a federal facility, meaning it adheres to different standards than the state level. And these representatives want to learn how they can provide some oversight. Our Board of Education in Miami-Dade cannot does not have responsibility for overseeing the education that's provided uh, in this facility. Another concern is the cost. A representative from Health and Human Services says due to the fact this is a temporary shelter that needs to be ready quickly, it runs roughly $750 per day per child, which is more than other centers in the country. This is about three times more. Uh, so my first question is going to be, are they getting three times better the level of care when it comes to medical screening uh, for any counseling or, or mental health services. At 1.30 this afternoon, these lawmakers, along with immigration advocates, are set to discuss what they saw on their tour today, as well as what they say they hope to be immigration reform. For now, live in Homestead, Carly Barnett, CBS4 News.